Yeah, let's talk about the difference between uh, Jimmy Butler and Giannis Antetokounmpo, okay? So, Jimmy Butler, was, he said, or, you know, came out, I don't know if he said it, but I read it, that, you know, Jimmy Butler was not going to let Eric Spolstra draw up the last play for anybody not named himself, which is Jimmy Butler. Now, Giannis Antetokounmpo said after the game that he would have had to like to guard Jimmy Butler, but what I, you know, but with respect for Drew Holiday um, being a great defender and respect for uh, Coach uh, Budenheiser, Coach Bud, that he allowed him to do that. See, that's the difference. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's it's because uh, it's because you know. He, you know, he from overseas and, they, you know, he ain't Americanized. I don't I don't know if that's the big issue. But what I can say is um, what I can say is that it just lets you know the difference. You know, if it's Michael, you know, Michael going to be like, well, you know what? Give me give me give me him. Kobe going to be like, give me him. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I want him, and that, that's kind of like the difference of Jimmy Butler mentality. Jimmy Butler is is, is is all dog. And ain't to say Giannis ain't all dog, but in that situation, man, you would have. It's your team. You know, forget you got the NBA Talk playlist the whole. Now I appreciate the love and support, all that stuff. So, uh, thumbs up the video, share, the video, subscribe to the channel. But it's, it's your team. And you know, you know, in the heat of the battle, it's all love, man. We they all men out there. Drew Holiday, you know, can really guard some good ones, some tools. But you know, when you start getting into like the, the, the Jimmy Butlery, like a three, it's up to Giannis to go out there and guard the best player. And at the end of the day, you go ahead and make the stop. You know, you make you make the stop, and that's like one of the one of the things I don't like about today is that. They don't put the emphasis offensively and defensively. See, they say, well, I gave it all on the offensive end. I don't have energy on the defensive end. You hear Lucas say that. It don't matter. One thing I liked about Kawhi, even though he messed his knee up, he was picking up Kevin Durant in that series, bro, while he was healthy. You know, and he was causing problems. Russell Westbrook, even though he was outside and outgun, he was causing some problems. You gotta wanna, you gotta wanna want it. And NBA, it's kind of the NBA fault. I can't put that on AAU, LeBron. It's kind of like the NBA fault, man, because they caught a little touch of bump fouls, and you don't want to get your superstar in those issues. But in that critical moment, you know, I don't want to say respect go out the window, but it's like no disrespect, bro, Coach Bud. Fuck all that. I'm guard Jimmy Butler, and I'm about to stop that shit. Now, really, in reality, you supposed to stop that motherfucker before he gets started. You know, how they lost that game was coaching. It was tragic. And I don't think Coach Boonhaus is that good of an overall coach. You know, but, you know, they got some questions to answer next year, especially with Middleton looking all washed up and shit. But they got some questions to answer. And I think, you know, they, I don't know what assets they got, but, you know, that Damian Lillard, you know, that might help them. But that's a different day, different time, different day for that, right? But I, but like he posed to say, man, this is me. No disrespect, Drew. You go guard the other guy. Heroes back up or some shit. I'm taking Jimmy Butler. You know, this this fall on me. And I think that might just be, a, a, in my opinion, it just might be a, 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 a how can, I want to put this in a correct way. This might be a, a, a cultural disconnect. That's what I'm going to call it, a cultural disconnect. Because after the game, it's all good, man. It's like, Drew, man, I love you, man, you know, but I had to step in. And Drew would have understood. Drew's a pro's pro. You know, Drew got two other brothers that's in the league, bro. So he he understand. I'm pretty sure he a father. I you know he a husband. Pretty sure he a father. He understand that shit. Like, no, no disrespect, Coach Boo, but it ain't nobody going to bat eyes fucking Giannis. It ain't like it's Deshaun Stevenson or Ruben, you know, even Ruben Patterson was respectable. Tony Allen, you respect what they do. But I'm not no disrespect to Deshaun Stevenson. But, you know, somebody at a lower level, at the end of the day, you're going to lie, you're going to live, you're going to die by Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's his team. Drew Holiday, Coach Bud won't, no, not anybody in the city of Milwaukee won't deny that. And he supposed to be like, you know what? Coach Bud, fuck all that shit. I got Jimmy Butler. 
and what nobody in that huddle opposed. Just like Jimmy Butler sat there and said, you know what? I'm taking the last shot. This is my, I got this shit. Don't draw that shit up for nobody else. I got it. And if somebody want to sit out like Scottie Pippen did in that playoff game when Tony Kukoc hit that shot, that's your prerogative. You got to answer that for the rest of your career. But that's that alpha, dog. That's that dog. And Giannis got a little learn to do. And I was kind of disappointed a couple years ago when they got put out. And he said that, you know, he didn't really like talk. I forget what he said about guarding other best player, man. That's what you want. That's what you got to do. If you want defensive player of the year, be a great. And they just go off stats. They try to measure defense by stats. And that's why you always see big guys get the stats because they got the blocks and the bullshit. But because they 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 don't want to measure it by by true defense, everything is measured by analytics. I heard Dominique Wilkins say some analytical guy told him a, a miss three is a better shot than a made two. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? How how ignorant do that sound? How ignorant do that sound? You know what I mean? So, um, but uh. But yeah, man, he got it. I mean, ain't nobody perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, next time he got to know, like, he got to override Coach Bud. And it's like, it ain't no disrespect. And sometimes you let him know ahead of time. Like, okay, after the game, y'all do y'all exit me. You let him know, say, next to town, Coach, I don't want to step on your foes. But all right, when it's, somebody get it going like that, I want to stop his ass. I want to be the Jimmy Bucket stopper or whatever it may be. And that's cool. This is franchise. They're going to tell Giannis, get the fuck out of there. Like, okay, Giannis be gone. Shit, Lou El Sander, y'all ass. Shit, turn to Kareem Abdul, Abdul or Giannis.com or whatever the fuck his name was. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I feel like he got, I feel like, I feel like he done enough to deserve that pool. For sure. For sure, for sure. So, um, but yeah, he supposed to be like, I got that shit. Now, that's like, if anything, and people talk about he missed all the free throws and shit. You know, when you uh, when you missed uh, when you miss and you think I'm about to fight over that parking spot, like bitch, you at the gym? You gotta go park a little bit further and walk your fat ass down. Shit, how you gonna be lazy at the gym? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but <laughs> man, I I could man, like I said before, I. I could talk about women all day, especially black women. But I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna make that. I ain't gonna make this about black women. Cause I could talk about them motherfuckers all day. I might have to. You might have to import you a bitch now if you a black man. You might deport a chick from the motherland. Shit, I tell you that shit right now. But yeah, with Giannis, bro. Yeah, I mean, shit. You know, you gotta work on this shot and all that shit and whatever. But maybe I'm starting to think, dude. I remember Kenya Martin was talking about on the uh he's on all the smoke, and you know, he ended up going number one out of Cincinnati and shit. And he was saying like he wasn't worried about Darius Miles who went number three because he couldn't fucking shoot. And I'm just starting to think like maybe it's a genetic disconnect that a lot of these dudes can't shoot. I think it's a genetic disconnect, bro. I think literally genetically they are inab unable to shoot the rock. And that's my and that's my opinion. I'm not saying it's true. Or these dudes ain't putting in the, the work to shoot the rock. I just think it's not genetically possible, but hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, word drop a video, check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, your cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.